So a while ago, Miscast put up a video on his YouTube channel about making barricades and walls with EVA foam. He cut it up with scissors, glued it together, gave it a dry brush, added some flock, and it looked awesome. So I built terrain out of styrofoam for years and I've always hated how you can see the blue and the pink showing through after a while. You can't spray paint it or it melts or you know, you gotta be really careful. So I figured I'd give this a try. And last year I built myself a whole table of frost grave terrain and now I wanna show you guys how I did it. So why use EVA foam? It's incredibly durable. Anyways, you're gonna need some bricks. I got a video on how to make those here. Once you got some bricks, you can just start gluing it down to an MDF base. If you don't have MDF, you can use cardboard, chipboard, whatever you want. Just start gluing bricks down. Don't worry about the sizes or the shapes, just get them on the MDF. You want it to look kind of varied and kind of ramshackled is what I've been going for. These are meant to look like they're put together by magical wizards, not professional contractors. You can get yourself some popsicle sticks, cut them up, and you can use those for your floorboards. If you don't want floorboards, just put in a dirt floor. Just glue some dirt in. You'll be fine. Once your boards are in, I like to scratch them up with a pick or a knife, give it a little bit of texture. Hey, you can even add some nail holes with a drill. Now you can start building up your bricks on the inside and the outside. Again, just keep gluing them on. Don't worry about the shapes. Don't worry about making them all fit. You can add a window. You can add a door. I use this big popsicle stick to get the shape. And once you got your keystone in the top, you can pop that door out or not. But once you pop it out, you're gonna have yourself a doorway. It's gonna look just like the real thing. That's how they do it in the real world. So you're gonna have lots of little wispy bits from the glue gun. Those you can pick them off. Once you got the big ones out of the way, just go over it a couple of times with a torch or a heat gun and they'll all just disappear. Mix yourself up some texture paint. This is just PVA glue, dirt, black paint, and some texture medium. And brush that on in a few spots. Give it a little bit of texture. Fill up all the spots where your hot glue squirted out. Then get some super glue and some little rocks or some ballast, glue it all down. Once it's dry, you flick off all the loose bits with your finger and a brush. Those are gonna come off when you paint anyway. Hit it with a little bit of matte black primer. And then give it a dusting with some gray spray paint. Pick out a few rock or a few bricks here and there with an off-white, just to add a bit of variation, break up that gray. And then start building up your gray dry brushing. In do two, three, doesn't really matter how many layers you do. Just keep going until you like the look. Get yourself some brown paint, paint up the floorboards, give that a bit of a dry brush. This is just a spray bottle of wash that I mixed up. It's just water, ink, and acrylic medium. Mix it up. I also dump all my old leftover washes in there too. So it's kind of just like a mess. Give it another dry brush. Pick out those bits of rubble with an off-white. And now you can give it a matte spray. And you're done. As you can see, this technique is really fast. You can whip out a table's worth of terrain in no time. And you don't just have to do fantasy. These techniques will work for doing science fiction stuff too. Dystopian, industrial, post-apocalyptic, whatever you want to call it. I hope you guys found that helpful. Make sure you go and check out Miscast's channel as well and see all the cool stuff that he makes out of EVA foam as well. 
You guys take care. Bring it here. Bring it here. Hey, don't chomp it. <laughs>